welcome all of you to this video. By now, we have come to know about the area of rhombus. Today we will see an example based on the area of rhombus. The perimeter of ABCD is 40 cm. If the length of a diagonal is 12 cm, can you tell the area of the quadrilateral ABCD? But in this question, length of only one diagonal AC is given. Now the question is how to find the length of the second diagonal BD? Hmm. In this case, you can take help of the properties of diagonals of rhombus. In the rhombus, diagonals AC and BD perpendicularly bisect each other. AC is perpendicular to BD and AO is equal to CO and BO is equal to DO. Can you find the length of AO? Well done! AO will be the half of the diagonal AC that is 6 cm. Now, can you tell the value of the side using the perimeter of rhombus? Since all the sides of the rhombus are of equal measure, the measure of the side of rhombus will be equal to one-fourth of the perimeter of the rhombus, which is 10 cm. To find area, the value of diagonal BD is required. But how will this happen? BD is double of BO. So, if we somehow find the value of BO, we can find the value of BD. Now, can you tell how to find the value of BO? As we can see that the lengths of AO and AB in triangle AOB are known and the value of angle AOB is 90 degrees. Hence, Pythagoras theorem can be used in triangle AOB. Solve the equation by substituting the values of AO and AB. We get the value of BO as 8 cm. BD is double of BO. When the value of OB is 8 cm, the length of the diagonal BD is 16 cm. Let us now find the area of rhombus. As we have read that the area of rhombus is half the product of the length of the diagonals. Substituting the values of AC and BD, the area of rhombus is 1 by 2 times 12 cm times 16 cm. Thus, the area of rhombus is 96 square centimeter. Today in this video, we understood the example based on the area of rhombus.